Welcome friends. Uh, today we are going to solve another problem. And the statement is uh, given as a graph in your loop for a circle of diameter 30. So there is no other data. It is simply asked to draw an involute for a 30 mm diameter circle. So how to draw? Always remember we have to draw one circle and we have to draw one string. And that circle vertical diameter and string must be perpendicular. So when we try to draw, so start drawing exactly vertical diameter line. Suppose I'm drawing, I'm drawing from this point. So 10, 20, 30, this will be my diameter, 30 mm. At 50 mm, it will be it having a center. So this will be my diameter line. And on this side, I have to draw string. So this will be diameter 30 mm. So this is 15 mm mass center. I will take a radius up to 15 mm and draw a circle. It must be in construction. Now, uh, this is the diameter. We have to draw this horizontal string in elastic string. Exactly equal to its circumference distance. So, with a diameter of uh, 30 mm, we have to calculate what is the circumference distance. So, circumference distance might be calculated as uh, 2 pi r or pi b. So, pi having a value 3.14 into 30 diameter, it comes 94.2 mm. So, 94 is possible, but marking 0.2 is not possible. So, never mind, we will mark whatever the possible. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So, 90. 91 is possible, 90, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 94.2 is not possible, 94 is possible, so actually we are marking 94, excess line we are erasing, because practically it is not possible to mark 94.2 mm, but this is our circumferential distance, so we will write here this much is pi b that is 94.2. During writing, we must write the complete 94.2. But when we are drawing, it is not possible to mark 94.2 mm, so we take approximately 94. Now, this is our inelastic string, which is suppose end p. So elastic string A and P is three and second end is fixed here to a diameter line. Now we have to bind this string on this circle. But the problem is that circle doesn't have any sharp corner edges. So how to get the inner position? So we will divide this circle in equal eight division. So always this vertical line. So if I am using this uh, horizontal side of the adapter, so it will be divided into four divisions. Now total eight, that means I have to use this angle measuring device instrument, main instrument called as a D or four circle. Now eight division, that means 45. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So this is my 45 degree angle. And as we are using a uh, drafter for measuring this, so drafter having two sides, exact 90 degrees. So I am unlock this drafter, marking this 45 degrees with the center and lock. So once I lock this, I can draw this 45 degree line. And by default, second side become exact 45 degree on left side also. So I just put this second side here at center and enter. So you know, 
by measuring only one angle, we can draw two inclined lines and divide into uh, total edge division. Now, this string, when I am going to bond on this circle, the sequence through which this segment is going to be overlapped, that should be the sequence of numbering. So, for this portion will be overlapped, so this is one. Sequence two, this is third, this is four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, remember, whatever be the diamond and circumference of circle, we took the exact same circumferential distance as a string length because it is statement it is said that draw an involute for circle diameter circle only. They don't provide any string length separately. So when such problem is there, we have to assume the string length is equal to the circumference of circle. Now when I am try to one this, so first position will be this and string will be remain open straight. So to show that position, I will draw a tangent from one. Then how to draw a tangent? Unlock the doctor, match your doctor one side with this center to one line diameter. Lock it. If it will match with this side, so second side will be exact perpendicular to this. So now I am just bringing this side on one point and drawing construction there. So this is automatically become of exact 90 degree to this. That means the tangent, tangent at one. Now the question is that when I wind this string up to one, my string position will be like this, and somewhere there is a C point. But how do I come to know that how much distance is wound on this curvical portion up to one? So this is the division of circumference. Total circumference is divided into eight parts. This length is also circumference. So I will try to divide this length in equal eight parts. So using inclined line method to divide this string because it is 94, directly not divisible in eight equal division. So I am drawing one inclined line suppose from this and marking total eight divisions. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on inclined line, I am marking equal eight divisions. And the large division I am joining with C. So this large division joining with C and lock the top term. So this is joining line. Now the doctor is locked. So I just bring this doctor on second point and drawing a parallel line. So parallel line to initial line. So likewise, I am drawing parallel line from each point. So the inclined line div divisions are eight. So now original line is also divided into equal eight parts. This is angle division method. But the issue is that how to give the number. The number will be in the same fashion. How this string is going to wind? So if this portion is first going to wind on this, so this is one. This portion will be going to wind secondly, so this is second. This is third, four, six. Six, seven, and this is finally eight. Now imagine this string initially P point. If I am going to wind this, so this to this one point, this much distance going to wind on this circle. And remaining portion one to P will be hanging here, exactly on tangential position. So I have to Take a compass, mark one to P distance. Up to one distance, already it is one on circle, and 
free string is 1 to p. So I am marking this free string distance. 1. So this is my p position when string is overlap up to 1 division. So this is p1. Extra construction I am erasing. When it is wound up to 2, that means this much string length is engaged on this circle and 2 to p remain free. So I have to draw that position. For that, I am going to unlock this, match this side with the p division, uh, sorry, 2 division. So this side become exact 90 degree to that. So I am putting this point aside on this two point and drawing the tangent. Now I know that up to two, this much string will be wound on this. So free string is two to p. So I am taking the distance in compass two to p. Keeping center point at two and this will be a free string length. So this is P2. Excess construction it is. Always remember excess construction should be erased to make your drawing more clear. And it will be definitely help to score more marks. Now when it is uh, wound up to three, that means up to three, this much portion will be engaged and free length will be three to P. So likewise. I am drawing tangent from each and every point. So this will be a tangent from P point. Remember at the same time, this line will be tangent to 7 if I am drawing on backward. When I am matching with this vertical 4 point, so my string length will be this, 4 to this. This will be my position. From it already varies. When I am matching this draft with 5, so this side will be tangent. So I am bringing this side at 0.5 and drawing tangent. At the same time, it will be a tangent to 1, already drawn. When I am matching this side with 6 to 6, that is the diameter position of circle. So second side will be tangent. So I am bringing this side at point six and drawing this. Similarly, I will draw tangent at two. Already drawn. So like that, we have to draw tangent from each and every point. And now we have to mark the P position. We reach to up to T uh, two point. When it is wound up to three, that means this much distance will be engaged. So three distance of will be P to P. So P point is this and three and P3 will be here. This is P3. When it wound up to four, so four to P will be free distance. So four to P and marking this P4. This is P4. When up to five, so 5 to P will be 3 distance and up to 5 it will be bound. So free distance of string is 5 to P. So this will be our P5. Then 6 to P, this is 3 length. When we wind string up to 6, so 6 to P, this much is the free length. So this is P6. 7 to P. So when we wind this string up to 7, so this much portion will be free. This is our P7. When we wind complete 8 division, that the total string will be wound. And this final P point will be reached to this 8. So this will be P8. So erase the excess construction always. So it will give a clean diagram. So it will improve math. It's just like a good handwriting. So in drawing, good drawing, neat drawing, 
help to increase the mass. Now we have to join these all P points, P, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8. And this will be a smooth curve. So as I said, our hand has some limitation for the movement. So we will replace the slips, make the paper free and try to draw smooth curves. So P1 to P. Firstly, try to draw in very construction manner. So if somewhere we found it is not perfect curve, smooth curve, then we will erase and correct it. For this, you have to make a practice. Otherwise, you uh, elastic uh, uh, curve. I'm talking about elastic curve. It is available on Amazon or any stationary shop which provides engineering goods. Engineering stationaries. So they have elastic curve. Elastic curve and fringe curve both are very different. Elastic curve can be more. Fringe curve, it, it is a stiff. We have to use all edges of fringe curve and manage the R. If you have an elastic curve, so just use that elastic curve, mold it, mold it, mold it, and match all the P points and go right there. Now, here I find that this portion is a little bit not a perfect. It is suppressed a little bit inside. So my line should be a little bit outside, so it will give a smooth curve. So I will erase in our one. So I am saying first try to draw in a very construction line. If we can be okay, then we have to draw in a single stroke now. U S little pressure, so it will be a dark line. And as per your freedom of hand, you can rotate the paper. But it should be a single stroke. Don't drag it. Don't do any kind of overwriting once you are drawing dark line. Try to draw as smooth as possible this smooth curve. This is your final answer. Remaining everything is a construction. This curve is the only answer. And this must be a dark. So as compared to other all lines, circle, divisions, this curve should be a little bit dark, more dark. And this is the involute. This curve is known as the involute. So this is our problem. Involute for a circle. Well, there will only diameter is given and no string length is given. So we have to in then exactly equal to the circumference of a diamond. Okay.